Hi, and welcome to Zealous Women Podcast. I'm your host, Madeline Dawn, and this is episode one, all about Eve. Today, we're going to be talking about Eve, the first woman to walk upon the earth. I'm going to ask you a question today, and I'll give you a couple of seconds to answer. You can answer to yourself, or if you talk to your podcast host like I do, you can answer out loud. No judgment. So, what do you know about Eve? I can almost guarantee that I know your answer because most of the time when you ask this question, you get multiple forms of one answer. And that answer is, oh, Eve, the one that ruined everything. But today, I'm here to give you a new perspective, a new way of seeing her because Eve is so much more than her sin. And there is so much that we can learn from her that applies to our lives today. So, here's what we know. And we know these things from her story told to us in the first three chapters of Genesis, which I encourage everyone this week to go and read a couple of times. We know that she was created for a purpose. God said that it is not good for man to be alone, so he created woman. We know that she was a reflection of her creator, and we know that she was valued by God. Let's create a setting in our mind, shall we? What was life like for Eve in the garden? So the Garden of Eden was the most beautiful place on earth. It had rivers that flowed. It was filled with life. It was luscious. I can imagine Eve running like a little girl through fields petting all of the animals, she being the first one to look at a cat and probably say, that's the cutest animal I've ever seen in my whole entire life. Life in the garden was simple. All they had to do was take care of it and to worship their creator. So what happened? What could have possibly caused Eve to do this to herself? Eve went from living in a garden that was beautiful and luscious and having no shame to being one of the most shamed women in history. Eve knew the consequences, so why throw it all away? You see, when Eve was tempted by Satan, he tempted her with something that he has been using against us since day one. Identity. Eve went from knowing all that she needed to know for her life to needing to know more. She went from just being herself as God made her in his beautiful image to needing to be different, needing to know things for herself. Satan reflected what he wanted for himself onto Eve. He wanted to be like God. So Eve forgot who God told her she was and she listened to the wrong voice. And she took the fruit from the tree and she ate of it. And then shame. Eve, the first woman to feel shame. Shame is the emotion that is now a disease passed on for generations. Shame is a painful feeling of humiliation or distress caused by the consciousness of wrong or foolish behavior. We've all felt it. There's a quote by Brene Brown, who is probably the only person that I say that you need to go out right now, buy all of her books, and read them all the time. Well, besides the Bible if you don't have one. But getting back on subject, Brene says that shame is the intensely painful feeling that we are unworthy of love and unworthy of belonging. Unworthy of love unworthy of belonging. Can you imagine being the first one to feel these things? We feel these things now, but Eve was the first one to feel them. She went from being in a garden that was beautiful and luscious and walking with her creator in the cool of the day to feeling unworthy of love and unworthy of belonging. What does God do when he finds out what she does? 
Well, he says to the woman Eve, I will sharpen the pain of your pregnancy, and in pain you will give birth, and you will desire to control your husband, but he will rule over you. A punishment. But with this punishment comes something that many of us miss. You see, after she was punished, later in chapter 3, Adam, her husband, finally gives her a name. Yes, she was unnamed until this point. She was just the woman. And Adam, her husband, gives her the name Eve, which means mother of all living. You see, her punishment, her sickness, her shame, her story becomes her redemption. She did all of these things, but still, she's Eve, the woman who God specifically made to be the mother of all living. So, I want you to go back and look at her story. I want you to go back and read her story. And I want you to ask yourself again, what do you know about Eve? Do you know that she's the one who ruined everything, having your shame goggles on? Or are you going to take your shame goggles off and put on your empathy goggles? Empathy is the feeling that you understand and share another person's experiences and emotions. The ability to share someone else's feelings. Having put on your empathy goggles, ask yourself, what do you know about Eve? See, we've all felt shame at some point. So put yourself in Eve's shoes. There are generations and generations between us and Eve, but really, are we all that different? Paul says in Romans 3.23 that we have all fallen short of the glory of God. But isn't it beautiful to think about it this way? Even though we have all felt shame, even though we have all messed up, we are still valued by God. He still created us for a specific purpose, just as he did Eve. Well, I hope that that gives you something to think about until our next episode. Remember to check us out on Facebook, facebook.com slash Zealous Woman Podcast. There you can find links to our Twitter and our Instagram, as well as our YouTube channel. And you can also find out more about Zealous Women on my website, madelinedawn.com. Thanks for listening.